In today's video, I have got for you my top tips for senior golfers to help you increase some speed. Make sure you check out this video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today in our indoor golf studio. And today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is really gonna be for senior golfers. But this is talking about creating more speed for anyone who's losing or lost some flexibility, some mobility. So it may just be from an injury rather than just a senior golfer or someone who's a little less flexible, less mobile. These are still gonna be really relevant points for you. The info for me is just coming on the bottom of the screen. I'd love you guys to consider subscribing. If you hit the bell icon, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live. Right now, we're gonna jump into this one. So in today's video, as I mentioned there, we're gonna be talking about senior tips, but this is all gonna really be focused around what happens if you lose some distance? What sort of those magic moves that you can make, simple tips to help you increase that distance, not lose so much to your friends? Of course, there are some other senior tips I would definitely suggest, like know your distances, know your numbers, get really good at short game, chipping, pitching, putting. You know, what, what happens when you see the best senior golfers out there, they're pretty steady tee to green, right? But they're very good around the green. They know their distances with their irons and their course management is very good. So there's simple ways to really make sure that you're lowering your score. What I'm gonna to focus today is what we can do to gain that little bit of speed. Are there any little cheats we can make within our setup or swing to make sure we're not losing out? So I'm gonna focus a little bit on backswing, then I'm gonna focus a little bit on the downswing or the through swing movement. In the backswing, there's some simple stuff that I would definitely suggest trying. One would be to drop that trail foot, so that's the one that's furthest away from the target, a little bit back, effectively closing your stance. What does that help you do? It helps you turn those hips more, to turn your torso more, to make a bigger golf swing. So we're not gonna generate as much speed from here, we're definitely gonna generate more if we can increase our movement in the backswing. So starting with effectively our hips already a little bit turned open, by dropping that right foot, trail foot back slightly is gonna help. It's also gonna help me create more of an in-to-out draw path. The benefit of you hitting more of a draw is you are gonna produce a little bit less backspin normally. That's gonna help your run and roll. So although you may be losing some carry distance, if you can get that little run and release out there, that's gonna give you that little bit more when we're talking about the spring, summer handicap golf, right? When we're playing our competitive stuff. So dropping that right foot back. The other little thing with that, I would definitely flare that trail toe out. I'd both, but we're talking about backswing at the minute. So turning the trail foot out, again, is gonna help my hip turn more, help my torso turn more. And you may even want to consider lifting that lead heel in your backswing. So as you lift your lead heel, you'll be able to, again, turn more, you'll be able to make a bigger golf swing. You'll also, as you lift that lead heel, get more pressure moving towards your trail foot. Now that is fine, as long as we're not seeing this movement. So when this lead heel lifts, my trail side is moving up and behind me. It is not laterally moving, swaying. So when this lifts, this rotates. That's what you want to feel. Lead heel lifts, trail hip rotates. And that means I can make that bigger golf swing. Now in terms of the downswing, lifting that lead foot helps in my downswing as well because now I've got something to slam back down. As I slam it down, I get my pressure moving back towards my lead side earlier in the downswing. Definitely something we see with all hard-hitting elite golfers. So you might not class yourself as that, but maybe you can pinch something out of their book and gain a little bit more with that slamming down of the lead heel. The last little tip I would suggest is allowing your head to follow the flight of the golf ball. I do not want to see head staying down too long. I want your head to turn and to rotate. So I want you to feel like you're watching the ball. Watch the club hit the ball, you won't see it, but watch the ball fly. Do not get caught. Like I see with so many senior golfers, keeping their head down. 
it really restricts that body rotation on the way through. Now, you may have lost flexibility. You may not be able to turn as much as you used to, but let's see what we can get. Let's try and get some of that at least. Now, I said that was going to be my last one. I've got a last little tip there. I prefer you to have a stronger grip like than a weaker grip. I think that's true for junior golfers as well. So as you're losing some mobility and flexibility, don't worry about gripping a little bit more in the fingers of the lead hand and having more knuckles showing. I'd prefer you to have three to four knuckles than ever getting that one, two. So go a little bit stronger with the grip. You're going to worry that's going to encourage me to draw or hook the ball too much. But remember, we're going to generate more distance from hitting the draw. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to get you to turn your body more automatically to stop the ball going as far left. So utilize that strong grip. It's going to encourage you to turn your body more. Let me try and import or include a few of those bits in there. So I'm going to drop that foot back. I have flared that foot out. I've also strengthened the grip. I'm not saying you have to try all of these, but I'd definitely try a few, see how you're getting on. You might want to add one, two, three, or all of them into your game. I've got that stronger grip. You can see my stance is a little bit closed and the foot's flared out. And I'm going to go that, give that feeling of lifting the heel to increase my turn. It feels so much easier to get that club up over my shoulder. The only thing I'm really thinking about on the way through down is getting my heel back down to the ground and letting my head follow the flight of the golf ball. That felt really solid. So it gave me that right to left draw shape, but still definitely a fairway finder. A lot of golfers worry that they're going to lose accuracy just because they gain some distance. That doesn't always have to be the case. That was longer for me and straighter. You know, I had that draw little tail I wanted. Yeah, happy with that. I'll give that another go. And when you're trying something new, don't give up on the first few. You know, try it on the range. What did I really do? I dropped back that foot a little bit. I flared out my toe just to help that turn. Their setup changes, not backswing. The strength in the grip, that's a setup change. So my only real focus is in the golf swing is lifting the heel. And remember, it's lift the heel, turn the hip. On the downswing, I've just got to make sure I get that heel back down to the ground. And do not keep your head down. Let it turn. Let's give it a go. I don't really want to hit another one. Oh. I think that's straight in the last one. I'm definitely going to give up on that one. Really happy with it. Again, started right, little draw shape, loads of roll out there because of that movement. Just focusing on lifting that heel and getting it back down to the ground. It's a great feel to get that pressure onto my lead side. And as you'll have seen here, I definitely wasn't keeping my head down until well after impact. Let it turn. It's a real restriction when you're keeping that head down and you're definitely going to give up some yardage if you are doing it. If this video has helped, hit the thumbs up, share with as many golfers as you can. Check out some of my other content. I've done quite a few videos talking about increasing speed. Some of those points there you might have heard me talk about at other times, but it's worth checking out the back catalogue. Don't forget to subscribe. All the content is for free, at least two instructional videos a week.